Take us back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, when did you decide you wanted to be a composer? Um, well, I started composing when I was 10. I'd been playing piano <laughs> since I was six, and then my parents got me the synthesizer and the sequencer, this little floppy disk sequencer. It's a, it was like an old piece of technology where you could layer tracks on top of each other from the synthesizer. So I started doing that when I was 10, and I really loved it. And it was kind of like addictive. It was the sort of thing where the hours would just fly by and my bedtime would come and go and my parents would have to force me to stop, stop every composing. night. Stop composing. Yeah, so I really loved it. And then I kind of stopped doing it when I was in high school. I got interested in other things. I kept playing piano, but I stopped composing when I was in high school. And then at the end of high school, I was sort of going off to college and I was thinking about what do I really want to like pursue, what do I want to go into, and I realized there was nothing I ever enjoyed more than composing. That was like the thing that I love doing that more than it. anything. So I decided I was going to really study it and get back into it. So walk us through your composition process. How, how do you go about it? Well, I started at the piano okay. and I spend many, many long, lonely hours <laughs> at the piano. <laughs> Melody is a really important part of it to me and Damien. Um, we really love melodies that feel like the movie, that can represent the movie, that can stick in people's minds after they've left the theater. Mm -hmm. um, and it can be very, very long time to find the right melody. Um, later on, once the movie's shot, then there's the whole process of scoring the picture, like actually scoring it dramatically. And that's just sort of looking at the picture and responding to what's going on on screen. And there's, it's, it's, it's not easy to do, but it's easier in some ways because you have something to, to to fill in and you have right. there's there's a picture there and you're adding to it but just finding those melodies is it can take as long as it takes I never know how long so at the very beginning I just sit at the piano for a very long time that didn't pan out for us um, we quit the band sophomore year and started working on movies. He was studying film, I was studying music, and we started talking about working together, how my music could work in his films, and how we could collaborate. We started working on a movie junior year. Why do you think the music from this film was so well received? It was designed for the movie and it was designed for the story and the characters and I think it's a movie people are connecting with in the first place. It's um, people love me and Sebastian and their love story and um, people are connecting with kind of the journeys they're on, their, their, their dreams that they're chasing and the music was designed to support that and to work emotionally with all of that so I think that's part of it. Um, and yeah, again, I don't know, just I think a lot comes down to melody. This is why we spend so much time right. at the beginning trying to find melodies that are going to stick with people, melodies that are going to be catchy or, and or moving, um, both really. We want them to, st to be memorable and to be th things that people can whistle, hum as they leave the theater. And so, again, we reject so much until we have the melodies that we think are going to stay with people, and I think that's, so that's part of it. I came up with that music in 2014. Um, we had started developing the movie in 2011. We worked on it for about a year. We had some some of the melodies figured out, like the main theme, me and Sebastian's theme, that was figured out in 2011. We couldn't get the movie made. We had to put the movie down. We made Whiplash. We brought the movie back to life in 2014 with Lionsgate. And uh, I went back to the drawing board on a lot of the songs. So I went back to work on the ballad, the song that would become City of Stars. Developed it, you know, it always, even even if we love a melody, it's like, oh, it's great, but I think it can go somewhere right. else. Is so we, perfect? yeah, so we go, we we continue to go down a lot of different roads until the melody's right. I, I keep all the piano demos. I have like thousands of piano demos. I did 1,900 piano demos for La La Land. I did a lot for Whiplash. I did a lot for Guy and Madeline on a park bench. So I have a lot of ideas and material and yeah, maybe it's someday I'll, I'll have the right use for something, but no, not yet. I, usually when, I like to think that what I'm composing is very specifically designed for the movie, so I don't know if a La La Land melody could work in, the, it certainly can work in the movie I'm doing next, I know that, and who knows if it could ever work, because it's, it's designed for the, that tone, that uh, emotional world of that movie, so I'm not sure that you can really just take one thing and use it in another, but maybe we'll see.
you think you'll be working on 20 years from now? Do you have no any idea. idea? Do you want to know? No. <laughs> Just <laughs> let it happen? Yeah, hopefully good stuff.